scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. This woman holding a phone, I'm seeing fire coming on her. This one holding a phone in front. Right now, I don't know what it is, but there is mighty deliverance coming for you and your family. Take that grace right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke everything that is not of God. Let it release you and let it release your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm hearing a name, Jennifer. My goodness. There is such breakthrough coming for that family. Who is Jennifer? don't tell lies please we are serious people here i told you by faith you can connect it doesn't have to be please let's so that there is a breakthrough because i'm seeing i just saw what looked like coals of fire on an altar and i just saw it being destroyed and i saw a door open this is what i saw in the name of jesus christ for this family, those of you standing in front right now, every altar tying your destiny down, right now, no matter how long it has stayed, those in front here, fire is coming upon you. I set that altar now, in the name of Jesus, I set that altar right now, on fire. It must let you go now. I release your destiny. I release your destiny. Everything holding your lifting, it comes under judgment now. Madam, this woman, please tap that woman for me. Lift your hands. The Lord is saying your life is about to change now. I release that grace upon you. Right now, this unction, for you, this week will not pass, madam. You will see the way God will turn, help her please. God is turning things around. In the name of Jesus Christ. You see, let me tell you this. There is a fearful side to God when he begins to move. Just like that, he will turn things around. Just like that. All of them out for the name, that name I called. Huh? From Kano. Okay, you are at the basement. Let me pray for them. I'm going to pray for you. All these ones that are out, my dear, that lady on maroon, look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Go ahead. Jesus! Jesus! I command that spirit to leave your family right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now for all of you who are standing here, I'm telling you, fire is coming on you. You came for a miracle service. You don't, you don't, don't forbear with evil. If you forbear with evil, it will grow. I pray for all of you right now. Fire from heaven. Let it come upon your life and turn your story around. Take that fire now. Take that fire now. Take that fire now. Take that fire now. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the family from Kano. Madam, these are your children. There are two. I'm seeing two in the spirit. Where are they? Where's the other one? In the name of Jesus Christ. That's all right. I pray for you. Look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
everything that represents hardship we bring it under judgment now there is a family that I'm seeing a pattern of the death of men men in that family the Lord wants me to pray right now a pattern of death either male children male husbands male father just male figures just keep disappearing where is that family it's time for your breakthrough right now where are you coming from male just is like there is a spirit huh? where Bayelsa. where is that by Elsa who is this let me talk My to this daughter, woman in China she watches online in China yes, sir. she's watching now yes, sir. daughter connect I'm about to pray for you and pray for your mother madam you believe in the power of God yes, sir. I'm going to pray for you yes, I'd like you to shout Jesus where you are yes, sir. go ahead shout Jesus. Jesus right now I command this altar release this woman now help her release this woman now in the name of Jesus Christ where is this family I spoke about just a spirit that kills men please people of God look at this look at this for God's sake how wicked and devilish the devil is all your brothers are dead hold on please let me talk to this lady where are you coming from, from don't, don't cry how many of your brothers <laughs> two my two brothers they are all gone Those are the only brothers are my dad and your dad is gone yes. <laughs> you see the bible says how god anointed jesus look how many people are coming one word from god now imagine for god's sake that you leave these same people because it would destroy them and also destroy the male people who are here Please help them. They should be careful with that the, the metal stand or um, protocol. You should be able to help them on that. Please. Are you seeing what I'm saying? The stand here. Please. The ones in front here too. So they don't fall on it. Look at this. Now all of you look at me. You are standing here because you believe in the power of God. Lift your hands. I'm going to pray for you. Such fire will fall on you. And I'm telling you that altar. I don't care how long it is. But my Bible says, blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us at the count of three. Father, I pray that every altar tying down and killing men. Are you ready? One, two, three. Take that fire now. 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 In the name of Jesus, I bring you deliverance now. The spirit and the altar that destroys men we bring you under judgment you are under arrest now you are under arrest now I release life to this family life to this family and hear me for some of you who the ones who left were the breadwinners of the family I pray may God raise someone else. Take that grace now. May God raise someone else. For some of you, that someone else is you. I place that mantle on your head now. Go and help your family. Go and lift your family. You may not look like it, but let this unction come upon you. I, I, uh, uh, hey. Many of you will come to testify here because doors will begin to open from one door to another door to another door. And as I'm praying for them, I'm praying for everyone too. That in the name of Jesus, hear me, hear me please. And believe what I'm saying. If there is any family here that does not have at least one person lifted by God to be to help that family I stand by the God of my salvation right now at this August miracle service may God raise people in that family now 
May God raise people in that family now. May God raise people in that family now. I raise you by prophecy. I connect you to destiny help us. In the name of Jesus. Please return to your seats rejoicing. We have to pray for the sick now. I expect everyone to still be praying. Please don't be distracted. This is a very holy atmosphere. And God is turning things around. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a grace. A grace. Hear me. I'm hearing in my spirit help and visibility. And this grace is coming on everyone but particularly those in the music ministry. This is what I'm seeing. Uh, maybe I worship team people. In the name of Jesus, help. Many of you want to move beyond this level. But I'm seeing that there are powers tying people down. Even though you are worshippers. I stretch my hands. Let me use our worship people as a point of contact. That fire comes on you now. From nowhere may help arise for you. And anyone here following online who is in the worship ministry, the ministry of psalmistry, I declare help arises for you now. Help arises for you now. Help them please. Help arises for you now. May the Lord give your ministry visibility. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now let's pray for the sick. If you came here trusting the Lord for a miracle, either for yourself or for someone you're standing in for. Some of you have already been healed with all the several ministrations. But right now, I want to minister particularly to the sick. If you came with someone, you can lay hands on that person now. Whatever the condition, remember what I taught you. The maker is also the changer. Please lay your hands any part of your body you're trusting God for a miracle for, please lay your hands. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. I want to pray for you right now. Believe in miracles. Some of you are standing in for your loved ones. Go ahead, stand in for them. And there are people following online. You're following from whatever TV station. You're following from the internet. By way of social media. Please connect by faith. Jesus still heals. The Bible declares Jesus the same yesterday, today, and forever. Please connect with someone right now. I really believe in miracles. Did you know that there are people who connect every week from hospitals? I know there are people on sick beds right now connecting several hospitals across the world. This is because there is a healing Jesus and he does heal. He still heals. Now, three things will happen. Please listen carefully. One, I am going to begin to pray to rebuke the spirits behind those infirmity and to administer the healing power of Jesus. I'll do that very fast. And then, number two, the moment I do that, be prepared to check yourself. Already there are miracles happening for those of you who came out under the anointing. You know, all kinds of spirits. Usually when they go, many supernatural things happen. The moment I pray for you, I want you to attempt to do what you could not do before. You find out inside, outside, all the overflows. You find out that there is a miracle that has happened to you. I'm going to request very quickly that you will make your way once we give the permission to, to come out either here or here. We'll have a few minutes to take some testimonies. And then whilst we're doing that, we're going to be um, getting our prayer requests ready. So at the same time, if you are yet to write your prayer request for those who are following online, please do well. You have a few minutes to make that happen. And those who are healed online, you can send in your testimonies immediately by way of our social media platforms. We'll do this very fast so that I now speak into your life. Please listen. Make sure you stay and receive the prophetic word. I need to speak over your life as we're entering what we know to be ember months. I don't know why, what is it about these months, but they seem to hold some mysterious tragedies for people 
it takes the prophetic word that comes from scripture to build a system of immunity over your life and over your loved ones are you ready now please lay your hands let's pray i believe in jesus i truly believe in miracles i believe god heals i believe he will heal right now just agree with me as i pray the power of god is flowing right now just help those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out but do well to check yourself if you're laying hands on someone do well to communicate the same instruction father in the name of jesus you are the healer and you said in your name will cast out devils in your name will heal the sick i am praying right now every spirit that is back of the challenges that your people have been having all kinds of challenges i command those spirits to give way now I command those spirits to give way now. Right now, let the power of the Holy Spirit begin to move from my left to my right, from the front to the back, from inside, outside. Be healed now. Be healed now. Ulcers of all sorts, be healed now yet now organ failure system failure let there be restoration now there is someone i don't know whether you are here or you are in a hospital following online you have it's like your kidney is damaged the lord is giving you a brand new kidney now a brand new kidney now eye conditions of all sorts be healed now by the power of the Holy Spirit any kind of lump in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare all lumps go now all those who are on crutches wheelchairs or those who are carried on stretchers in the name of Jesus I bring you life be healed now every kind of bone condition back pain pains in your around your muscles your your abdominal region be healed right now in jesus name there's someone who has what we know to be nose bleeding just like that for no reason blood starts coming out of your nose the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ the lord is showing me someone you have suffered a terrible affliction of skin infection you have tried to treat it and treat it and it looks like nothing is gone right now i'm praying for you you will know the power of god has touched you because the itching will stop instantly be healed in jesus name there is someone's father also i'm seeing i don't know if it's a kidney kidney condition someone's father the lord is healing that person right now in the name of jesus christ all forms of hearing problems be healed right now in jesus name hotness in the body severe heat in the body be healed right now in jesus name now there is someone no matter what you eat it's like you have a problem a unique problem of indigestion it doesn't matter what you eat you have this problem sometimes you even have to throw up what you are eating right now in jesus name the power of god is touching you now all kinds of pain pain around your body be healed right now high blood pressure low blood pressure be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name there's someone the side just around your side here 
I don't know what particularly is the problem, but around your side, there has been, you don't even sleep with that side. You have to sleep on one side of the bed. Right now, the power of God is touching you now. In the name of Jesus, any challenge with your shoulder, your shoulder area right now, the power of God is touching you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. All conditions of bleeding stops now. Stops now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know the name of this condition where people bite their tongue. It looks like um, this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing someone like shaking, convulsion. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command anyone, whether following online in your room, you're having that condition, bringing injuries to yourself. It looks like an epileptic condition. Be healed right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, all those who are standing in for someone, if you're here, you're standing. I'm seeing people lifting phones, connecting their loved ones or x-rays or whatever it is. In the name of Jesus, let the power of God from here touch your loved ones right now. Touch your loved ones right now. Someone you came here, you, are, you can't bend easily. As soon as I'm done praying for you, try to bend right now. You will see that the power of God has come upon you, granting you the ability to bend. In the name of Jesus, be healed in Jesus' name. Now, whether I mention your case or not, I speak to you in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Now, I want you to check yourself whether from the beginning of the service as you fell under the anointing or whilst I prayed, please check yourself. The moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you, I'd like you to shame the devil and wherever you are, I want you to run and make your way to either of the aisles here or there. There are doctors, there are medical people here to confirm you. Those who have been healed from outside or any of the overflows, please allow them come very quickly. While that is happening, everyone, please I want you to be praying in the spirit in one minute go ahead all those who have been healed people are coming out are you celebrating miracles here please make your way to the front all the overflows quickly whether here or here are you praying while that is happening please let's just pray for a minute in the spirit as the medical people confirm them miracles are happening here jesus is healing my god are you seeing people coming? Miracles are happening. Miracles are happening. If it's for healing, please open the door for them. Let them come in. Outside all the overflows and you who are online, check yourself, check your family members, check your loved ones. The moment you find out there's a miracle, send us your testimonies right away. Don't be ashamed. Check yourself. The power of God has touched you. Make your way to the front quickly. While we pray in one minute, pray in the spirit. Ke paranda skata balaka to prosodo bakata. Ke da praise ke di barosha dega de belakatos. And the Lord walking with them, confirming the words with signs following. Now, hallelujah. While while we are, we are preparing to take the testimonies, how many of you are here to submit your prayer request? Please lift it up. There are officials who will be moving. Uh, they should be at your left and right. Let's do well, please. Ushers, PR, help them. Let's make it very fast. Those online, you can now begin to send in your prayer request. If you've not done that, you were requested to do that in the course of the week. But in case you are not done with that, please write it immediately and send it. Um, we're going to take a few testimonies and it will be time for us to pray. My God, are you seeing people coming? Look what Jesus is doing in this place. Learn to celebrate the mighty and the marvelous hand of God. Please let me know when you're ready so that we can have a few. Hallelujah. Okay, go ahead, sir. Praise God. Please come. Please sit for a while while you submit your prayer request. Yes, Apostle, please. This is Brother Nandi for three months now. Cyprem. Cyprem. For three months now, he's been having a particular challenge. He's been having difficulty breathing. Yes. Serious pneumonia. Okay. How, how, how long? 
For over three months now. And right now, what happened to you? I feel very better. Breathe in and out. Any pain? Any pain? In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit, you are healed now. You are healed forever in Jesus' name. Let's celebrate Jesus. Yes, please. Apostle, you gave a fantastic word of knowledge regarding it someone with pain at the side. side yes absolutely madam so, oh she had she her is, medical report yes just let her week, talk was, yeah. just last week i've been feeling i was feeling pain here so where are you coming week, from i came from Haraba. okay so last week i went for an abdominal um what uh, analysis yes and they gave it to me they said i have um something in my kidney that is enlarged or so to say i have impurities in it and growth too down here, those are the two things you mentioned. The moment you mentioned it, I don't know. Check yourself now. Pain. I, Check I, yourself. I, Bend I down. Do Check any pain. No. Koinonia, are you celebrating Jesus? In the name of Jesus, madam, look at me. I caused that pain. The doctors have done their best, but let Jesus finish it up. In the name of Jesus, I bring you life and healing, never to return to you again. In Jesus' name, I pray. Yes, please. Mommy came here with a swollen in her chest that she has had difficulty in breathing. Is the mic working so that we hear it louder? Okay. She came with a swollen in her chest. Okay. So she had difficulty in breathing. But How the long? The power of God came upon her. Mama, let, let her talk. Since 2009. My God. The thing has been that if I go to the hospital, they will, they will say that I have a swollen in their heart. And they will show it to You me. have a swelling in your heart? In their heart, yes. Oh, they've shown it to you? Yes, they show it in the screen. When they, they will take the, the test and put in the screen and show it to me, I'll see where the swelling is, as if it is breathing. And it's making me to breathe fast. That is fast breathing. My heart will be beating fast. Uh, what happened to you now? And immediately, you, you, the word of God came. The thing disappeared. The heat stopped. And the chest is so much Come on, Koinonia. Are you celebrating Jesus? Mama, breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Any pain? No. What Jesus in action? Breathe in and out. Any pain? No. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands. You will go back to the hospital and science will confirm that the hand of God has touched you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help her, please. Let it never return to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, Apostle, please. he has been stammering since when he was born. One he has he been was stammering, stammering. Stammering. Stammering, yes, sir. Now he can speak friend. My friend. Sir. Say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say Jesus is my savior. Jesus is oh, my come savior. On. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, these are his brothers. Hold on, hold on. Come, come, come. You know him. Give him the mic. Where's the mic? Yes, he's my brother. He's your brother? Yes. It's true he has been stammering. Yes, sir. My goodness, my God. Hey! The wonder-walking power of Jesus. Stammering from... Look at me. Let the devil hear you. Give him the mic again. Say after me, say in the beginning. In the beginning was the word. Was the word. And the word. And the word was with God. Was with God. And the word. And the word was God. Was God. Sit down for a few minutes. Yes, sir. Wow. Please settle down. Yes, please. Apostle, this is amazing. Please. Go ahead. Okay, so six years ago, I hold on, please. Hold on, please. About six ah, years these ago. are all testimonies. Wait, 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 wait. Oh dear. Okay, let's go ahead. So I had this accident. Uh, it really affected my back then. You had an accident. So bad. Yes, sir. When was that? Over six years ago. Uh huh. There about. So just even before the prayer uh, began, I was very specific about that back pain. I what couldn't you do it before? It was there. It was there. Like if, if I try to turn like it this, will pain you. It, Twist I have now. A sharp pain. Twist now. Let the devil see you. Accident. Six years. Bend down. Bend down. Any pain. Bend down. Any pain. Everything that has gone out of joint in your life, in the name of Jesus, may my God, who is also your God, bring it to alignment now. 
my brother it will never return to you again in the name of jesus christ yes please yes sir okay um you, you gave a word of knowledge about back pain it's been a pattern among men in my family like my dad always he always complains of back pain and i noticed the moment i got married the back pain started so I have issues bending down, usually even doing chores. At and right now, and right now, bend down. God. Let the devil see you. Any pain? Any pain? Ah. This man is physically fit. Oh. You can see him doing his... Listen, we use you as a point of contact to speak to all the men in that family. A new season comes for you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Apostle, we're having back pain. Of back pain, hmm. several conditions. Amazing, amazing. Wow. Can you imagine? Maybe some of these people there. Eh, why don't you move some of them here? Um, protocol, just they can follow and come here so that we'll make it faster. Okay, all of you back pain. I like to, Madam, sir. you are heavy and you had back pain. Yes, the sir. devil is very wicked because he knows for that. One year. Huh? For one year. Is You've been pregnant for one year? No, like the, the pain. And then um, I had this cold last year. I even went for x-ray. So they found nothing. But I, I just kept feeling pains all over my body. Before you prayed, I already felt like I could actually turn right now without feeling the pains. When are you due? December. December. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will give birth to our koinonia baby with joy like the Hebrew women. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Madam, hear me. No complication whatsoever. Amen. You believe that? Yes, sir. That you will go to the hospital and within minutes you are done. Amen. I remember one time a woman called me. You know, I pray for many people at the point where they will give birth. She went out, she strolled, she came back. She couldn't dilate. Nothing will happen. She lay down there. They, at a point, they said they were going to induce her or, you know, all these medical terms. And the woman was tired and her sister now played one koinonia prayer. And then while it was happening, I don't know, one thing led to the other. She just decided to take a step of faith to send the text. And I picked the call and I could hear her. You know, ah, may God bless women. No? I could hear, the, you know what happens there when you are that, you know, the woman was screaming all kinds of things. And I said, put the phone on loudspeaker. And honestly, it was like the hand of God just came on me. And I said, baby, you are not a cause. You, are, you, are, you came from heaven. God is my witness. I lie not. It did not take up to five minutes. That woman just gave birth like that. It's possible the woman may even be here or maybe she's following online. Listen, you see, as God begins to help us, we must start transiting in our understanding and our beliefs to believe that there are actually certain things that should not happen to us again. I'm not saying there's anything wrong if you go through any kind of thing, but I'm saying there is a more excellent way. And even while you help yourself and manage, your, your eyes must be fixed on God's best. Madam, just like I shared, I pray for you that in Jesus' name you will give birth safely. Amen. God bless you. God bless you in Jesus' name. Yes, please. Sir, there are cases you gave word of knowledge of those with shoulder pain. Shoulder pain. Shoulder pain. How many of you, sirs? There are about four here. He has had the shoulder pain for like six years. What happened to you? I play football, so I fell on it for like six years now. Football? I yes, sir. I hardly sleep here. I hardly raise my hand up. I even came in with the excruciating pain. Lift as it up as... now. Lift it up. Any pain? Any pain? Do you still play football? Yeah, I do, sir. May you not fall down again. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. About four of them, the same condition. Shoulder. I stretch my hands over you and in the name of jesus let there be perfection for you right now in jesus name yes please very quickly five abdominal cases abdominal case abdominal that cases. woman is left. and i went for it scan. was swollen yes this is the scan result uh-huh and i went oh you went that's the scan result yes. okay all what did they say was wrong with you all the medications they couldn't see anything and this thing keeps on swelling and that is how i am emaciating as the stomach is burning me i'm emaciating no matter what I eat, no matter the truth. What happened to you now? As I fell under the announcing. 
And when I woke up, I checked myself. I discovered it was it has gone. Completely. Yes. There are about five of them here. In Save the name of Jesus, I use you, madam, as a point of contact to all of the rest. In the name of Jesus, this healing remains perfect in your body. In Jesus' name, I pray. God bless you. Yes, sir. Apostle, we need to hear this. Go ahead, sir. Sir, uh, ulcer, I've been suffering as from... As ah, they say we need to hear it also. You I've you been talk. suffering from ulcer 22 years. 22 when I, years? Yes, when I contested a councillor in 19... You are a politician? Yes, sir. Okay, so you contested then, councillor? Yeah, from when? then, uh, 19, uh, 1999. From there, okay. I started having this ulcer. It will come and go. I hardly fast. So even this afternoon, I came in with the pain. I forced myself to fast. And right now? And now it's gone. Completely gone. Yes, I feel it through my back. The pain is gone? Yes, it's gone. Are you still in politics? Yes, sir. I like politicians, though. Thank you, sir. Can I pray for you? Yes, sir. Are you occupying any position now? No, sir, but a former councillor. Former councillor? Yes. What state? Adamawa State, sir. Can I pray for you? Yes, sir. You believe in miracles? Yes, sir. Father? In the name of Jesus Christ, there is a kingmaker anointing. There is a grace that enthrones. So that God will find people in positions of authority, I pray for you from the depth of my heart. May God connect you. You don't have to, there is selection and there is election. I pray that God will call people to select you to a position that provides a political leverage for you. That grace speaks for you now. In the name of Jesus. And for your healing, may the Lord perfect it now. In Jesus' name. Yes, can we hurry up very quickly? Also, there is a very mighty miracle here. Okay. He has had kidney challenge. In fact, he came kidney. to Abuja. Yes. You better show the case. He came to Abuja to come and do kidney transplant. He does uh, dialysis. Let, let, him, let him talk to me. He said he could not talk. But oh, he could not talk. Abuja. Talk now. Yes, on January 19th. February, my God, my God, my God. When we came here, Watch this. Let's hold on, please. Let's listen for a moment. Yes. On 19th January, we came to Abuja for kidney transplant. So I was at Zene Kidney and Medical Center on July 2nd, is when they get a matching donor, but there is no money to do the dialysis. Before I came here, I cannot walk fast. And I can't breathe because I'm choking. So while you are praying for the sick, immediately you say those that have sick then fell. I fell under the anointing. Hey. I got up. I was breathing very well. And I My friend, myself. look at me. Run. Run. Ah. Run. Apostle, this is our elder sister. This is a sister. This, this, is, sister. this is the elder sister. Hold on. You are his elder sister. You are the younger sister. Yes, sir. You you confirm that what he's saying is true. Yes, sir. I can with you. Breathe in and out. God of vengeance has won my battle for me. God of miracles won my battle for me. I'm a winner man. I'm a winner man. He has won my battle for me. What's your name? Hold on. What's your name? Because the Lord is saying it is your name. The meaning of your name is what has followed you. Amen. What's your name? Akachuku, Akachuku. That is hand of God. Hey! Listen, the hand of God. My friend, I pray for you that in the name of Jesus, the Christ of God, we declare your kidney brand new now. Brand new now. Brand new now. I'm a winner man, a winner man. I'm a winner man, a winner man. Hallelujah. There we have a few minutes for this. Of back pains here, but this one is very, very peculiar. Yes, please, disc, very quickly. Disc degeneration, disc degeneration. Oh, disc. Yes. I'm so not a doctor, bang. but I know that is a very serious thing. Very painful. You see? No accidents, no falling. The disc just started degenerating, so it could not bend very well. Now My brother, how long has this been? 
Since 2019. Since 2019. Yes, sir. Medically confirmed. Yes, sir. This I, did digit. I did MRI in Kano. Come. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain